So guys, welcome back to our video. Today we've got Leicester City away. It's going to be a very tough game. We sit 16th, Leicester sit 20th, which is rock bottom of the Premier League. So Leicester are fighting for points, need everything they can at the minute. They managed to pick up a point at the weekend against Crystal Palace in that 0-0 draw, uh, where, as we lost on Sunday against Arsenal 1-0. But today hopefully we'll be able to get back on track and pick up all three points. Um, my prediction before the game is a 3-1 win for Leeds. Uh, I think if you get a good shot off at Danny Ward in goal for Leicester, uh, more than likely, if it's good enough, it'll let, well, it'll go in. Our top scorer is Rodrigo with four goals. Leicester's is James Madison with five. Thankfully, he's suspended for today's game, which is a massive boost for us. Uh, so Leicester will be relying on Jim, Jamie Vardy and uh, Harvey Barnes. So hopefully we can pick up three points. Let's get to ground. Come on, Leeds. <laughs>
Hello guys, just a quick break from the video. I've signed a partnership with Invisible Friend. They're a clothing brand, a completely independent English company. It was founded 15 years ago. They use quality organic cotton, so the shirts just feel really good. And also the printing's really good on them as well. They make a range of shirts from things that people enjoy, such as football uh, shirts like this one with a stadium print on. They sell cricket shirts and they also sell shirts regarding music, cycling and even like City Skylines, which are pretty cool as well. They sell all sorts of different stadiums, uh, basically every professional team from England or Scotland. And I've just released a new Wembley Stadium design. And also the shirt sizes range from extra extra small to four times XL. The shirts make a great gift for, for friends or family. All you need to do is use code Ethan15 at checkout and uh, it'll give you 15% off your entire basket. The uh, Ellen Road print is my favourite, especially in the white shirt with the blue the blue stadium. They do also have a grey one with a white stadium. Please go check out the website. It will be in the top line of the description below. I'm sure you'll find something that you, you like. So yeah, on we go with the video. <laughs> So guys, welcome back. I've uh, just got back from the game, and um, and yeah, just not good enough whatsoever. I don't think there's any player that actually seemed to look interested today. Maybe that, maybe Adams, but he can't exactly carry the whole team on his back. We looked a little bit better in the second half when Cooper came on, but I just I'd love to know where it's going to take to get Joffy more than more than like 
10 minutes of game uh, and I'd love to know where it's going to take to, for us to finally see going on to uh, Somerville shouldn't have finished the game at all today and to be honest Rodrigo shouldn't have even like yeah should have come on just because Bamford wasn't running um, but he should have well Rodrigo probably should have been taken off because his head's just not in it just like it was when we played Villa at home last season in Jesse Marsh's first home game uh, it just wasn't wasn't there. But yeah, it's a very disappointing game tonight, which in a game what should have been a massive six pointers with how poor Leicester have started the season. But yeah, on we go to Fulham on Sunday, which will probably be an absolute battering. I'm not looking forward to seeing Laurenti defend against Mitrovic one little bit, let alone Firpo. So hopefully strikes back fit. And yeah, the lesser the better really. Um, everyone calling for Marsh to be sacked, I think that's wrong. My personal opinion, Bielsa should have gone last season, uh, so it's wrong that fans are chanting Bielsa's name. Um, personally, I think if Bielsa didn't go last season, then we would have been playing like Luton Town away or something tonight. Uh, fair enough, we might be the playing them next season, um, which it's looking very likely uh, with how poor we played today. But yeah, we're, at, we, we're having one good game for every four or five bad games. It's it's just not, not good enough to be a Premier League form. But yeah, that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button below. Subscribe if you haven't already. The next video will probably be Bournemouth at home. So yeah, I look forward to seeing you all in that video. And, uh, and we'll see you then. So yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.